WPPJ Radio is proud to present the second part of our tour through space program, The Outer Planets. We invite you to sit back and let your ears take you on a journey through the stars. Our guide will begin where we left off in our previous installment. Heading out from the asteroid belt, we come across the first of the gas giants, Jupiter. These gas planets do not have solid surfaces. Their material just gets denser with depth. Jupiter is the fourth brightest object in the sky back at Earth, and out here it's our largest planet in the solar system. What we can see of Jupiter is the outer layer of clouds high up in its atmosphere. The bands on Jupiter form from winds blowing in opposite directions. Lighter bands are called zones, while darker ones are called belts. The color differentiation comes from temperature and chemical differences in their composition. Inside the planet lies liquid hydrogen, which is only possible under 4 million bars of pressure. Its electrical conductivity is what gives the planet its magnetic field, which extends past the orbit of Saturn. Its most known feature, the Great Red Spot, has been seen for more than 300 years. The oval-shaped storm is big enough to hold two Earth-sized planets. Jupiter has 63 known satellites as of early 2004. Venturing further out, we come across our next stop, Saturn, named after the Roman god of agriculture. When viewed from a distance with a telescope, our sixth planet appears to be flattened. This is due to the high rotation speed and the fluid state of its composition. It is the least dense of the planets, with its specific gravity being less than that of water. If there was ever a body of water big enough to hold the planet, it would float. It's hard to visit Saturn and not mention the rings. Though they look continuous from Earth, the rings are composed of countless small particles. Two prominent rings, A and B, and one faint ring, C, can be seen from Earth. Although all of the outer planets have some type of ring structure, Saturn's is the brightest and most prominent. The origin of the rings is still not known for sure. Our next planet has only been visited by one spacecraft, Voyager 2, back in 1986. Uranus is the first planet to be discovered in modern times. It has been noted by other astronomers but simply passed on as another star until William Herschel confirmed its planetary status in 1781. While most planets spin on an axis that is perpendicular to their orbit, planet number 7 spins almost parallel, meaning to the ordinary observer it looks as if it were spinning on its side. This causes one of its poles to be constantly pointed toward the sun. Despite this fact, it is still warmer at the equator than at the poles. In contrast to Jupiter and Saturn, which are made up of mostly hydrogen, Uranus is composed mostly of rocky material and ice. The planet's blue color comes from the absorption of red light by methane in the upper atmosphere. While our next and last planet is usually the farthest from the sun, the eccentric orbit of the dwarf planet Pluto occasionally causes it to cross inside Neptune's path. The most distant planet from the sun has a similar composition to its predecessor, and its blue color also comes from its methane-rich atmosphere but there is some additional element that has yet to be identified that gives it its rich blue tint. The planet's winds are the fastest in the solar system and can reach 2,000 kilometers per hour. At the time of the satellite Voyager's encounter, Neptune featured what astronomers called the Great Dark Spot in the Southern Hemisphere. Voyager also captured a second smaller dark spot and a small irregular white cloud zipping around the planet every 16 hours. The scooter, as it was named, was believed to be a plume rising from lower levels in the atmosphere, but its true nature remains a mystery. Observations in 1994, however, show that the dark spots had vanished in the quickly changing atmosphere of the planet. Beyond Neptune lies the dwarf planet Pluto, as well as other smaller celestial bodies. Tune in next week to find out what else is out there in the next part of our series, Beyond the Edges. <laughs>